everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's YouTube video, we wanted to dive into some practical tips that are really important for in season. And generally, as you're practicing and throwing, what is one of the key things that you do? Everybody warms up. And what we want to talk about is throw specific warm ups. When we're talking our stand throws and half turns, we call them modified wheels, or we're doing South Africans, or we're going through what we call as pillar connection, where we're putting our throwing progression together from the start of the throw to the back. What is one of the core principles that I see wrong with beginning throwers that I think is going to make a huge difference. Now, what we have to understand is the point of stand throws. Yes, it's nice to get in there and if you're throwing the discus, launch a monster stand throw or freaking load up and just smash a giant throw. And I agree and there's a time and a place and that's when we're going to do our meat comp, our pre-comp type warm up. We're going to be working, putting a little bit more juice on it. But even then, in a meet, we don't want to leave it all in warm ups. We want to be dialing everything up so we're going to hit it. So we're going to control the number of warm ups and that sort of thing. But that is a topic for another video. But today, one of the things when we talk about the key thing that young throwers especially need to be learning is how to move quickly and correctly. And by that, I mean, when we start out with stand throws, we want to make sure we're working all the right positions. And that means rather than just coming out and just cranking away and getting too active and not learning the patterns, the correct patterns of throwing, we want to come out and we want to make sure that we're setting our groove where we call it patterning. We want to make sure that what we're doing is we're feeling our block, we're driving our hip through, we're sequencing our delivery, our block arm, our block leg, and our hip and our and our strike. If we're doing a rotational shot, same thing if we're doing the glide. We want to feel that lower body, feel that arm opening up, and we want to hit everything here. Oftentimes, you don't need big throws. You want to set up a pattern that's training your body, and that's going to start to create the right rhythm and very quick quickly you're going to be able to ramp that up. So basically one of the things that's it's a very simple tip, it doesn't need a ton of uh, explanation. We want to show just when you warm up you're taking easy throws, you're taking easy throws, you're setting the pattern, you're working on it. So if you're a, a rotational shot putter, you're hitting your block, you're getting your hip through, you're feeling your block arm and you're feeling that nice balanced extension so when we finish we drive everything through. We can do non reverses and what we're always conscious of is that lower body action and then the sequence of the upper body. So many young throwers are opening up and then they're just opening too soon, pulling forward and there's a right time to be active with the upper body and how to be aggressive with the block arm. But we always, in the beginning, so many young throwers are just too active. They're pulling the shoulders ahead, their hips, they're pulling off of the delivery leg and they're not able to actually actively engage and create that right type of punching motion, whether that's the rotational shot, the glide, or the discus. So, real quick tip in this video is just to remember, when you warm up, be patient, feel the right things. Are you on balance? Do you feel like you can get a nice little strike? You're going easier, but your legs are quick. The block's connected. You feel that nice whip in the discus. You feel that nice block and that hip, and you feel that nice punch in your rotational shot, or you're feeling your arm open, and you're feeling everything come in, and your glide, and you feel that nice balance connection. You're not pulling back. You're not falling off balance, and that's the most important thing you want to do when you're warming up, and very quickly from there, once you set those patterns, after just a handful of throws, it's very easy to add speed and put more mustard or juice on your throw to hit those big throws which is of course what we all want to do all right so thanks so much for watching hopefully you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe and we will see you on the next video